good afternoon and uh, welcome to another Anycom SAP Business One Hints and Tips session. Today we're going to look at creating or setting up new posting periods. To do this, please go to Administration, Systems Initialization, Posting Periods. To see what date and fiscal year you will be creating these for, scroll down to the very bottom. Drill into the last period, and as you can see, currently at the moment we've got set up to 2012. I'm then going to select New Period, and as you will see, this has populated automatically with the new fiscal year. So I'm going to put in a period code of 2013, and this will match the fiscal year. I'll also put the same for the period name, however, once this is created, you will see that there has been it. Now, some period. When setting it up for a financial year of 12 period, please make sure that you select the month. This is very important. We then move down to the dates. The posting date from, you'll see your able to edit. And you'll see that the two date is locked. This is because it is for a full 12 months. However, you are able to edit the due date from and to and the document date from and to as well. Sometimes we need to change these. So this way what this will stop occurring is the error message that we are all aware of the due date deviates from permissible range. Now you may only want to extend these by a couple of months. That's something that you will need to determine yourself. I then select Add. And if we now scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list, we will see that these new periods have been created. We are now able to go in and edit the periods, and we can change the period name. Thank you very much for joining me.